Good morning, I'm Trish Mahonik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Heading into the long holiday weekend, today is Friday, July 2nd, 2010. Here are today's top stories. NBC decided to take its new comedy, Love Bites, off the schedule for this fall, replacing it with Donald Trump's The Apprentice. Several issues befell the comedic anthology series, so The Apprentice will air for 13 weeks, and NBC may opt to launch Love Bites in January, or maybe before. National Geo Channel's new season premiere of Locked Up Abroad on Wednesday at 10 p.m. delivered 846,000 total viewers. And MSG Media released a statement about Dish Network's decision to take Fuse off of its lineup. Unfortunately, Fuse viewers are the latest casualties of Dish Network's history of disputes with programmers at the expense of their customers. We offer Dish fair and reasonable proposals, including the opportunity to extend our current agreement while we continue to negotiate. In its own press release yesterday, Dish Network said it replaced MSG Media's Fuse with MTV Network's high-def music channel, Palladia. Yesterday, DirecTV announced its plans to launch the country's first selection of 3D channels. One is N3D, another one is DirecTV Cinema N3D, showcasing IMAX titles, and the third channel is the previously launched ESPN 3D. HGTV, have to say that slowly, ordered more episodes of two of its series, Property Virgins and My First Place. Property Virgin airs on Mondays and Wednesdays in one-hour blocks at 8 p.m. My First Place now airs on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. and 8.30 and also on Thursdays at 8 p.m. The CW's 90210 is adding Blair Redford in a recurring role for the show's third season. The CW will debut the new fall season of 90210 on September 13th at 8 p.m. And Denise Richards landed a recurring role on Spike TV's football-themed series Blue Mountain State, reports U.S. Magazine. Richards' character is Ed Marinero's ex-lover. Blue Mountain State is scheduled to premiere season two on October 20th. Hi, I'm John Cox, and very soon the Emmy nominees will be announced, and I want to make my pitch for what I think is the best show on TV. Not the best comedy or drama, just the best show, period. The best show on TV has to do one thing for me, and that is provide the potential to wow me. There are very few shows on TV that I sit down and watch with the possibility of them being so good that I can only say, wow. One of the best shows on TV that has never wowed me is The Office. Now don't get me wrong, I love this show and I've watched every episode, but on The Office I've never seen anything so unexpected that I just went, wow. Justified on FX wowed me after the first show, but has yet to do so since. House in the Psych Ward wowed me. 24 has wowed me in the past. But the biggest wow this season came from ABC's Great Modern Family, the episode being Fizbo the Clown. Unfortunately, Modern Family's second half this season wasn't nearly as strong as its first half. There are two TV shows currently on TV that consistently wow me, the first being 30 Rock. I think the writing on 30 Rock is sharper than any other comedy in TV history, and I even enjoy that the show occasionally crashes and burns. If nothing else, it shows that they're always pushing the envelope. However, the show that wows me more than any other show on TV is Showtime's Dexter. The show is nerve-wracking and complicated, it is sophisticated and raw, it is brave and uncompromising. Dexter is simply the best show on TV and I hope that it not only gets nominated, but that it wins. I'm John Cox and thanks for listening. Have a good weekend. that's a wrap for today and for this week we are off until july 12th synopsis is on editorial shutdown next week and we have a long holiday weekend in front of us please be sure to check your email though for today's full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and moron ratings a couple new classified ads a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast and remember to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup this is a synopsis media production in association with 311 west for cynthia turner who wrote and compiled synopsis 
Synopsis in Connecticut. I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm gonna have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.